What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Trip HP Junkie and today we're working on the Dyna. Uh, what we're gonna do is a 5,000 mile service, which is basically an oil change, the transmission change, and the primary change. So first thing first, let's check out the fluid that we got. Um, this is totally up to you. We can start a conversation for hours on fluid types. I've always been a Mobile One a v twin 20w50 guy so I've, I've used it in all the bikes with no issues whatsoever so that's the kind of stuff i like um can in oil filters actually um for the oil filter you can get all this stuff at AutoZone, o'reilly's those type of places you don't have to go to harley davidson to get that kind of stuff so that's what i normally do is just is just run to an advance and pick up some things um, and with this 5,000 mile service with with the fluids uh, what we normally like to do is just nut and bolt, check out everything. Um, with this one, we're going to do spark plugs as well. So we have a set of spark plugs to throw in, in the Dyna. So let's check out the fluid that we got for it, though. So yeah, this is your Mobile One V-Twin 20W50. And you got your k and oil filter. And the transmission fluid, I went with Mobile One also. It's a synthetic. And since I've never put plugs in the Dyna, and it gets spark knocking a little bit when it gets hot. We're gonna try some of these E3s. It may be a bad mistake. We may have to go back to Harley plugs, but we'll see. Now we'll do a little review and see if I notice any difference on the V-Twin on those. So um, let me know in the comments if you guys use these and hate them or love them or whatever. So let's get to Dino on the lift. First things you want to do with any big twin twin cam anything really is, is get them really hot before you drain the oil that way the oil will come out easier and you'll get more of the oil out so yeah it's already been hot uh, we rode home from work just a few minutes ago and this is gonna be a little pro tip here what we're gonna do is crack this this oil cap a little bit and what that will allow is air to flow in here and the oil to drain out a lot faster. If you don't, it kind of chugs almost like gulps and, and you'll notice it. So, so on this side, right here is the drain plug. Um, we might have to zoom into it, but. So yeah, we got the other side popped, uh, the, the oil fill. Now we're gonna drain this oil right here. And what I normally use is just a little baking pan right here with a normal oil catch can. So we'll grab this, throw it underneath the bike and we'll drain that oil. So once you got the oil drained, your next step is this oil filter on the twin cam. And it can be tricky to get to um, taking it off with the normal style of a ratchet or anything like that. Oil filter pliers, it's, it can be tough. So what's cool is the uh, K&Ns, you can't see that, but there's an 11 16 nut welded to the actual filter so you can unscrew it, which is really nice. But if you have a traditional oil filter from Harley you can get one of these cups from Harley um, from AutoZone online Amazon and what this does is goes over the filter so you can take it off and I think they're like six or seven bucks they're really 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 worth it so um, let's start draining this oil filter and get this oil filter replaced oh and I almost forgot get you a uh, license plate and bend up to put underneath this oil filter and it will save that front motor mount from getting drenched in oil every time you service your vehicle, make it last longer, all that good stuff. That's another pro tip there. So yeah, let's drain this oil filter and get it replaced.
All right, so the uh, little end here on the old filter kind of messed up and couldn't get the filter off without that little other adapter. So got the new filter on. So get the oil drain filter on. And what we're gonna do is move over. And what we're gonna do is move over to the transmission. Um, first, we need to pull this cap right here. This is the fill hole. Um, takes about 26 ounces, I believe, was the spec on that. And the oil takes about um, two, two and a half, two and three quarters quarts for one of these dinos. Um, I think it's 06 to 17 is is what we're getting on the, all the specs on this. So uh, this is our three hole, 5,000 mile service for for dinos. Um, 06 to 17. But yeah, we'll we'll loosen this guy so so we can let the air in just like the uh, oil. And let me see if I can get a good shot of the um, tra transmission drain because it's kind of tough to see. All right, so straight. This is the oil drain plug. Straight back from that, uh, kind of straight up into the pan. There is the transmission drain. And what we'll do, like I said, is is we'll loosen that fill hole so so we can let some air in. We'll drain that out. And that will be our service done on the trans and engine. And after that, what we'll do is we'll move on to the primary here. Uh, I've always used just one quart of oil in the primaries. And this one's really easy. There's a, there's a big drain plug here. And with this one, since we don't have an inspection cover like my bagger, you have to pull the derby cover off, pour your fluid in that way. Um, so yeah. That's the 5,000 mile service. We'll, we'll, we'll get the uh, trans going on the time lapse and this primary. And all these plugs right here are 5 eighths for all three of them. And yeah, we'll get that time lapse started, guys. tight as I used to say so um, transmission's done primary's done oil's done oil filters done everything's topped off good to go um, the next uh, thing that we're gonna do is these spark plugs and a little trick that I used to do all the time was just twist these before you pull them off there's less likely chance to break the, the uh, spark plug wire electrode that's inside. But yeah, so we'll twist these and pop them off. And yeah, we'll get these plugs switched out and lowered on the ground and give her a test run and see how it did.
So that's it guys, we got everything topped off and cleaned up and no leaks. And it seems to run pretty good on those plugs. We'll see how long it lasts, but hopefully that saves somebody some money um, to do these services themselves. I mean, it's like 90 bucks worth of fluid for this one. And the rest is just a little bit of your time. So um, I, I think it's beneficial to do this kind of stuff yourself. Uh, of course, if you have a whole bunch of money and and want to throw it at it, you know, Harley Davidson, you know, go pay those guys four or five hundred dollars to do that. But for less than an hour and not much work at all, you can just service and maintain your bike. So appreciate the support, guys. Hopefully that helps someone out. And like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.